Welcome everyone to the Community Church of Sandwich. Those of you that are here and those of you online. Uh, I'd like to read something today before we start with our announcements for feedback. That's okay. You all know I've been quoting my favorite devotional book, The Upper Room, large print. <laughs> And I thought today I would read the devotion from today, because it's pretty pertinent. And it talks about whether you are a show Christian or a sure Christian. It says, in high school, I outweighed my older brother Vincent by more than 35 pounds, worked out more often, and could lift significantly more weight. I considered all of this to be an advantage. One afternoon, we decided to wrestle in the yard. Despite my physical size, muscle tone, and confidence, Vincent quickly beat me three times in a row. After his last victory, he proclaimed, that's the difference between show muscles and for sure muscles. Recently, I was reminded of my brother's words while reflecting on a sermon about genuine faith. There is a faith that is just for show, and a faith that is sure. The sure faith is based on obedience to God's work. A sure faith is developed through the disciplines of scripture study, prayer, worship, and service. Showy faith may look good, but just like my show muscles, it is unable to withstand challenges or even win the smallest victory in life. On the other hand, sure faith relies on the power and promises of God and helps us to stand when the floods come, lift burdens, spread hope, and move mountains. Think about that during the crop all day. So, do we have any announcements for the good of the church? Peter. Yeah. I just wanted to report on some of our fundraising efforts. Uh, fair weekend, we had two days of parking, and we raised $1,470. And uh, I wanted to recognize the people who helped with that project. Uh, Kirk Reed, Dennis Larishow, Tony and Michelle Gasparro, Van Adrian, Richard Frentis, Dick Devon, Sue Bowden, and Al Tanford. So let's give them a hand. And a prayer we uh, uttered uh, prior to the park and helped on Sunday because it wasn't so chaotic as it usually is. And then, uh, as you know, we began selling raffle tickets at the ice cream social. And uh, we, we had, Yes. <laughs> and we ended on fair weekend, and uh, we had a record sales of $1,751. Wow. And numerous people have helped selling raffle tickets, but at the fair, which is really financially uh, wise to spend all three days selling raffle tickets, uh, Paula. Larry Shell, Jennifer and Karen Wright, Bob Michael and Lois Merrifield manned the raffle table. So uh, they did a great job. And we're gonna, so. we're gonna have the drawing at Fellowship Hour. Today. And uh, I'm gonna retire from that. So <laughs> anyone who wants to uh, take on the raffle project, uh, give it some thought. church, we have a new sign up uh, poster for liturgists, ushers, and fellowship. Because after today, we don't have anyone signed up for fellowship. That is no snacks. <laughs> I don't know what to sneak in. And if we don't have people signed up for fellowship, we just leave. So, please, take a minute to sign up. 
pick a day, pick something like a book, go by and bring it in. Anything else? Good. I like the oh, yes, Dick. <coughs> I'm trying to encourage people to wear their name tags and uh, we're off to a good start today as a reminder some coming through, but uh, I have I have a whole list of those uh, for whom there are name tags. And so uh, I haven't yet had a chance to go through the board to see if there are any missing, but uh, you may have one at home or uh, in the car or somewhere else, uh, but uh, I think it's a, a good way for people to get better acquainted in, in the church and as a fellowship of believers. And if you need a new one, uh, let me know and uh, I'll, I'll provide it for you for the next Sunday. Thank you. I just have one thing. Um, I just want to mention that the Christian education team, which is really Louisa and Kimberly Bryant and myself, we're holding a pumpkin festival Saturday from 1 to 3 at the Baptist Meeting House outside if the weather's nice. And it's for children, so if you know children in town, any age, you know, we're just going to be um, carving or, and or painting uh, pumpkins. Some will be uh, go to the Remick uh, pumpkin wall, or, you know, kids can take them home. We're going to have time to snack. It's just Saturday from 1 to 3 at the Baptist Meeting House. So just, you know, if you have neighbors and have kids, and, you know, those of you, you know, just come on over and, uh, you know, join us. And you'll get the pumpkins there. We do ask that you try to RSVP so we know how many pumpkins. It's on our website. You can call or you can email. Um, just so we have an idea of how much supplies to have. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to mention that the Christian education team
in the midst of a world where people hunger and thirst. We come to worship God who feeds the hungry. In the midst of a world where people are abused and oppressed. We come to worship God who calls for compassion and justice. In the midst of a world filled with war and rumor of war. We come to worship God who desires nothing less than peace for the world. In the midst of a world of spiritual emptiness. We come to worship God who gives life meaning. Let us worship God whose grace and love know no end. Eternal 